What's up guys, today in this video I want to talk about what I call the race to the bottom. And what that is, is show specials. Guys, over the years I've noticed a big drastic change at trade shows with the show specials, discounted hunts. Even on like these Facebook groups and on Instagram I see a lot of these show specials being posted. And guys, it's a great idea, but it's a race to the bottom. And here's why. Because you go to so many shows, you see outfitters competing with other outfitters to who can drive the best bargain to get the most clients. Guys, and that, that's, a, that's a race that's going to fill everyone involved. Someone on your team is getting cut short on money. You guys are going to be getting cut short on money. The client's going to be getting cut short on experience because you're going to have to cut expenses elsewhere. Guys, these show specials are not a great idea the way they're happening. There is a way to market and advertise and do show specials that's a beneficial part to everybody. And here's one way. I know a lot of people will do packages. You know, they'll cut down certain packages, species. They'll do a buffalo sable packages, which is a really big one at show specials these days, it seems like. And they'll just try to cram it down to the least priced point possible. And like I've said, that's not gonna, that's not sustainable. You can't keep doing that forever because you guys will soon drive yourself out of the market. And it does make the industry look bad, especially within South Africa. Guys, the way to do this is how I would do this is, okay, you're going to do the, we'll just use this Buffalo Sable package as an example. Um, you know, I've seen them as low as $8,000 packages. I've seen them as low as $15,000. What I would do is build the package this way, Buffalo Sable Hunt package. And on that package, you know, I know you're going to try to cut costs a little. And with the way you're going to cut costs a little, I suggest you do this. Don't cut it so low that you're going to lose all the money. If you're going to knock some money off of there, what I would do is instead of knocking the money off, keep it the same price but add a value to it. Add it being filmed because then you, the outfitter, when you set this up the right way, you have full access and full rights to the content to be able to market with on social media, YouTube, trade shows, whatever it is, you'll be able to use that content to market with and you'll get so much more marketing content from having that hunt being filmed and you're already going to cut down the cost. Don't cut the cost, just take that money that you would cut it down with and add it to being videoed. So keep the price the same, you know, at 15000 or whatever you want to have it at. Don't drop the price down all the way. Just take the money and say, okay, we're going to add a videographer to this and we're going to be able to use the content to market and advertise. Then your client comes over, still gets the full experience. You know, don't lower your prices. Keep the prices what they need to be because you guys need to make your money. If you're going to lose money, you lose money on marketing cost, which would be hiring a videographer. So if, if the cost of the hunt is going to be 15000 or let's say 18000 leave it at 18000 but then add value to it because you're going to take off the top end anyways when you guys lower your cost down. Don't lower the actual value of the hunt because... By lowering the value of your hunt, you're lowering the value of your operation. You're lowering the value of all the other hunts based in South Africa for that species. Because you'll have another, you'll see everybody, Buffalo Sable, this is just an example. Buffalo Sable prices are racing, so who can get the lowest cost? Oh, he's got 15, we'll try to do it for 13. Oh, they're at 13, we'll try to go for 10. You know, you got everyone racing each other down, then you're bringing everyone's value down. Keep your value up by adding to these packages. And the best way to do it is I say adding the videographer because it's a beneficial for you and the client. The client gets to go home with the final video product, you know, of their memories of their hunt, have it filmed, photographed, all that. Then you get the marketing material. You guys need to work on building your brands. I say this all the time. You guys have to build your own brand. You can't rely on a, a booking agent to build your brand for you because if that booking agent one goes out of business, passes away, then what good is it for you? You guys need to build your own brands. That's my whole emphasis on this, building your own brand. So doing these packages, don't lower the cost, add the value. Because I know you're going to cut money away anyways. So why not lose the money anyways without dropping the value but adding to it. Whether it's, you know, adding the videographer, which I highly recommend because it's a kill five birds with one stone type of deal. Or maybe let's say for the species included in the hunt, whether it's buffalo sable or five species plains in the hunt, maybe talk to, you know, the guy that does your the tax much for you or the dipping and packing for you and say, okay, we're going to add... The cost of the dip and pack for these five species or these two species to our package let's get a hard cost a hard set cost put together and we'll kind of market each other this way and then so that way the client books the hunting for the five species of planes game and it's the five species of planes game five days or seven days plus the dip and pack fee for those animals add value to your packages don't subtract dollars 
add value. That's the best way to help you grow your business, help you become more reliable, help you build a better brand for yourself is by adding the value. Cutting down the cost is just a race to the bottom, guys. You see it all the time. Everyone's in every industry, they're trying to just nickel and dime, nickel and dime. Keep it at the bottom. Don't do that. Raise the value. Keep the price the same. Um, if anything, make a show special and up the price because they're getting more to it. You know, the, I understand that you guys want clients and I understand that, um, you know, lowering the price probably gets the clients quicker. But it's not a long-term solution. You want a long-term solution. You want a long-term benefit to it. And people, when they realize there's value to it, have an offer so good that they can't say no to. Or have an offer so good that they're saying, wow, it's you know, that's expensive, but it's worth it. Um, I know all you guys would rather have higher paying clients, less less higher paying clients than more lower paying clients. I know that's how all you guys work, but I know there's a lot of outfitters out there just scrounging to get the numbers in at the low cost, which we'll dive into a whole nother video on that, but I don't believe that's the way to do it, guys. Add value to your hunts, add value, value to your product, whether it's going and having the videographer come in, which I think is number one that you guys should all be doing, creating social content, Instagram, Facebook, um, and YouTube content and stuff for your website, all that good stuff because people are going to share that stuff. If I come and do a hunt with you and you have it filmed and I get the footage from it because it was part of the package, but you're marketing as well, I'm going to be sharing it. Jimmy's going to be sharing it. Adam's going to be sharing it. Everyone's going to be sharing the content that they get from you because they enjoy it so much and they think, wow, this is such a cool added value. Or just doing the dip and pack. They'll be going and telling their buddies, man, I did this package, dip and pack was included. It's so amazing. It's cutting down cost in a way, but it's also cutting down a lot of headache between different people and not knowing because it's in the package ahead of time. Or, you know, you're adding a trip to a park, whether it's Kruger or Addo or any of these little parks, like, hey, it's a two-day trip added to here for, you know, one hunter, one observer, so it's a husband, a wife, or whatever, they go to the park for a day or two, like, try to find ways to add value to it that don't cost you a significant amount, you know, whether you're just driving to the park for a day, paying the, the day fee and the fuel or whatever, but try to add value as much as possible because you guys are already cutting down your cost, like cutting down the prices and cutting down your um, income when you do those value packages for the shows, add value to it, guys. That's the biggest thing I can say is add value to your packages instead of cutting down the cost of them um, because in the long run, it'll help you guys out more. Hope this video helped you guys. Stay tuned for the next one.